Your plan seemed to work. The Monger thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the Monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Rasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the Monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I agree with Rasidas. I say we take him to the sacred cave. This isn't what we plan. The monger needs to be erased from existence. We'll fight him in a private place, and he'll die. A simple transaction. Remember? If you insist, we'll meet you at the sacred cave. So it is you, a demigod in the soot and shit streets of Corinth, killing my men, helping those fucking parasites? That's me. Ah, arrogant, just like your mother. You'll never rule these streets, you pig. Oh, you bet your pretty face I will. Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off and send it to the cult as proof. What? You knew? Oh, I fucking knew her all right. She was big fucking trouble. But I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head. Themos will wish she was watching this. Not if I bring her yours first. Get the fuck out of my city. It's not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets! Don't you fight me? I could have been there to watch Demos break your neck. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Wait! No! The people of Corinth must see him die! And so, sir? Take him out of here and bring him to the theater! Show everyone his cowardice! No! Wanted him dead, here he is. It's a shame the people don't get to see him bleed. His cries should have rung out across the city. He's dead. I've delivered. Your turn. Huh. Yes. You're right. He's dead. 
Take his body to the square. Let the people get a last good look at him. As for you, Alexios, I owe you information. We'll talk about your mother, just not here. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. There is more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Gorin from that beast. Everybody benefits, everybody wins. You've proven to be a very valuable business partner. Speaking of business, you owe me, Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps on the surface, but she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. How did you come to know her? There was so much rain that night. I saw her sleeping in the streets and gave her shelter. She was a vagrant? I wonder what my father think of that. I didn't know what happened to her. All she told me was that she'd left the place that tore her apart. Sparta. Did she find work? She kept to herself, with one eye always on the port. She could have stayed with us, but I think she was looking for something else. Was there no mention of her past? A husband, a family? Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tihi owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Alexios. Visit me anytime. I'll catch you up on Gordon's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Thank you! Just take me to my father's house. It's in the port of Gekhtiyev. <laughs> This would be faster on horseback. What do those bandits want with you? They said something about uh, getting what they were owed, but I have no idea what they meant. You've never seen them before? Come to think of it, they did look familiar. A group of bandits has been harassing the port I grew up in for as long as I can remember. Huh. Yeah. So, does my enchanting rescuer have a name? Alexios. Well met. I'm Likinos, famed poet of Athens. 
I have come to visit my dear pater and brother. Speaking of which, Timotheos, I'm home. This is the lovely Alexios. He rescued me on my way here. Where's... Father's dead. What? He was killed a few days ago by local bandits. And this is how you tell me? I need to prepare for the burial. I suggest you do the same. For saving my brother. If you're as tough as you look, I could use your help with something else before you go. Can you believe him? We all grieve differently. Your brother just lost his father, too. Ever since Timotheus returned from the war, he's been different. He fought for Athens. For a little while, so did my pater. Now they're both fishermen. Or my pater was, I guess. Give him time. I'll leave the brooding to Timotheus. You're a mercenary, right? I want vengeance on my pater's killers. <sighs> Haven't you had enough bloodshed for one day? That's why I'm hiring a Mystios to do the fighting for me. And my brother said he could use your help too. All right, I'll stay and help. How should I track down the bandits Timotheus mentioned? Their hideout is rumored to be just west of here, in the ruined temple of Zeus. I'll make sure the bandits pay for what they did. Timotheus, you said you could use my help? My father served in the Athenian military. He deserves a proper military barrier in his Athenian armor. But that armor was stolen from our home not that long ago. You want me to get it back? No. My father said he saw the thief running out of town after he stole it. But the merchant should have some Athenian armor. Tell him it's for Diocles' burial. They were friends. I'll get the armor for your father's burial. Kinos' father owed a lot of drag me to the leader, a man named Ipatos.
Jerry, would you happen to have any Athenian armor in your shop? It's for Diocles' burial. Timotheus can buy his father's armor back if he likes. Won't be cheap, though. What do you mean? Diocles sold me his armor not too long ago. Timotheus said his father's armor was stolen. Well, I have it here and I'm no thief. I also have another set of Athenian armor. Not as nice, but it'll do for the burial. Diocles' armor should belong to his son. Hand it over. <laughs> you think you can threaten me? It's not like I store a set that valuable with my normal wares. You'll find it over my dead body. That's a chance I'm willing to take. Standard Athenian armor. I could bring this back to Timotheos, or I could look around for his father's armor. There you are. Do you have the armor I asked for? Here is the Athenian armor. This works. We'll be able to give him a proper burial after all. Every warrior should be buried in their nation's colors. Yes, that's true. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Now I just need an offering of oil for the ceremony. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It means a lot. I should go dress my father. Mystios! Any news? I took care of the bandits, Likinos. Ah, I can breathe easier knowing my pater has been avenged. There's no chance those Malakas had any explanation for their heinous actions. Your father owed the bandit leader, Ipatos, quite a bit of a drachmi. What business could he have had with that scum? What matters is that they paid for their crimes. Thank you, Alexios. Now you can focus on mourning. I should probably let Timotheos know about this. If you're staying for the burial, I'm sure an offering of wine would mean a great deal to my pater. Timotheos asked me to pick up oil as well. Where can I find the offerings? He did? I mean, you should be able to find what we need at the docks. I'll be back soon. How could you be so stupid? More bloodshed, Likinos! Pater's death needed vengeance. I took care of it. You took care of it? You really think it will end there? Alexios, you agree with me, right? Likinos is right. The bandits needed to be stopped. Someone else's father probably just died because of you. Then it'll be your head next. You'd like that, wouldn't you? What? No, why would you say that? You've been nothing but cruel to me since I got here. I'm sorry, Likinos. I just don't want to lose you too. We only have each other now that Pater's gone. We should proceed with the burial. Did you find an offering? I brought you both what you asked for. Then thank you from both of us. I can thank Alexios myself. I did what I could. I hope your father's journey across the Styx is peaceful. Likinos, come. We must prepare the altar. In a moment. I'd love to see you once more before you leave town. Please, find me after the ceremony. See you around, Mistios. I was hoping to have the chance to thank you for all you've done. What did you have in mind? Poet may be my day job, but there's more to me than that. 
I am also a very talented cook. Allow me to make you a fabulous meal. I'd like that. Great. There's just one thing. I'll need a little help hunting down some ingredients. Literally. You're treating me, you said. After all we've been through together, surely you can agree that I'm a lover, not a fighter. A lover, huh? We'll see. I hope so. What do you need me to hunt? This dish calls for venison. Any of the beasts wandering nearby should do. Meet me at the cliffs near the Ipernistra camp once you find some. Beautiful view. It certainly is. Did you manage to hunt down our food? Here's the meat. Perfect. I'll get started. Please, make yourself comfortable. That was delicious. I told you I could cook. Was the food worth it? The company was certainly worth it. I'm having a really nice time. I can hardly believe someone like you wants to spend time with someone like me. I have truly been blessed by the gods. Fighter or not, I'm sure it takes a lot to be a renowned poet in Athens. I... Uh, may have exaggerated my accomplishments as a poet a bit earlier. The truth is... I'm not just home for a visit. I ran out of Drachmi in Athens. Why lie to your brother about this? Or to me? Timotheus has always been my father's son. In every way. They both fought for Athens, they both worked in the family business. Timotheos's path was never for me, so I left for Athens to strike out on my own. You're afraid of what he'll think. He'll say it was irresponsible of me to leave in the first place. And he's right. I don't have any Rachmi, or means to earn it. You're an amazing cook, Likinos. If you're looking for a way to make a living, you should start there. <laughs> I guess everyone needs to eat. Besides, any skill that impresses you is worth pursuing. You never answered my question, though. Why lie to me about your career? Isn't it obvious? I didn't want to appear a failure to you. From the moment I met you, I knew you were amazing. You might not see it yourself, but I think you're pretty amazing, too. Even after everything I just told you? Likinos, I actually like you more for being honest with me. Really? Of course. I want to know the real you. Alexios, ever since I met you, it's as if the Weaver of Wiles herself possessed me. I can hardly resist you. If Aphrodite is speaking, you should listen. Am I interrupting? This is where I used to practice sparring with my father. After he retired to the fishing business, he lost interest. But I kept up the practice on my own. Doesn't training on your own get lonely? Are you trying to goad me into a sparring match, mercenary? I might be interested in some friendly competition. I... don't think that's a good idea. Are you scared, Athenian? I just... Fine. Let's spar. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> That's all you got. Ha, I'm just getting started. Filthy Spartans. Timotheos, are you okay? You fought well, Athenian. Timotheos. Ah! Timotheos, what are you doing? I... No. Stop. Stop. No. No! Stay back! Get away from me! I'm not going to hurt you. Let don't me... Don't you get it? I might hurt you if you don't stay away. You're not going to hurt me, Timotheos. You don't... You don't know that. I don't know if I could stop myself right now. 
Even if you did try to hurt me, I'm more than capable of fending you off. That's not... You're underestimating what I'll do when this happens. Timotheos. No, no, no! Stop! Stop! Just breathe. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. You're safe, Timotheos. I promise. I need to be alone right now. I... I'm sorry. Lekinos, are you all right? They took him. The bandits who killed my father took Timotheus. Where did they go? To the ruins of Mikine. Please, you have to help him. Timotheus, it's over. Where are they? Care Spartan dogs, where are they hiding? You're safe, Timotheus. I promise. You! You're one of their spies! Timotheus! Uh what are you doing? Likinos? I... I... I'm so sorry. I'm just glad you're all right. You saved us once again, mercenary. In more ways than one. The famed Eagle Bearer hasn't saved you just yet. It's nice to fight. And you must be the man responsible for my father's death. Responsible? Your father was one of my best smugglers, before he screwed me over. Our father would never work for you. He had no choice. Dear Diocles liked to gamble. With my support, he could place bad bets all day long and keep that lovely home of yours. Something tells me your support came with strings attached. Hardly. Diocles and I were partners for years before I killed him. Unfortunately, a man who gambles with another man's drachmi stops being a gambler and turns into a thief. You got your payment in Diocles' blood. What do you want with Likinos and Timotheos? Diocles may be dead, but I haven't received my drachmi yet. You expect me to pay? One way or another, yes. Enough! Let's finish this already! So be it. Your life! Everyone, charge! No, no, no! no. Thank you for saving me, Alexios. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. I need to tell Alexios something too. I'm sorry for running from you the other day. It wasn't how I really feel about you. I would never leave you. What I mean to say is I shouldn't have run from you when I want to be with you. I'm the only reason you even know each other. The fates have spoken. The gods brought us together. I feel it in the fiber of my soul. I'm sorry, Likinos, but... Timotheus is right. I have feelings for him. You can't seriously choose him after we... You slept with Likinos? It didn't mean... Don't finish that thought. How could you do this to us? I knew you'd be back. The owl knows. She's Athena's favorite bird, you know. Then what are you doing here? <laughs> That's nearly ridiculous. So you're telling me it's not here? I hid it somewhere safe. It's underwater in the Ariavigni shipwreck. That doesn't sound very safe. How could it not be safe, surrounded by so many defenders? Why do I never get the easy jobs? Who knows? <laughs>
I found your key. Your associate certainly kept it well protected. He ought to have. I paid him well enough to do so. Where exactly are you getting your drachmi from? I have very few needs and spend only on what I find important. I'm very nearly thrifty. Now that I have the key, is there anything else I need to prepare to visit the Island of Fire? You tell me, Mistios. Do you feel prepared to explore the foundry of Ephestos? Wait, you're not going to ask me a strange question first? Perhaps I'll think of one later. I'm ready to explore that island. Very good. You are proving your worth. Am I now? I'm impressed. There is an island swathed with clouds of smoke, where the earth blazes with fire. It's called the Foundry of Ephestos. A legendary helmet is kept there. Bring it here so I might study it. Seems like a dangerous journey for just a helmet. It's not nearly the only treasure there. You can keep anything else you find. All right. I'll go to the island and find the helmet. Gorgophony was an extraordinary woman born of Andromeda, daughter of the proud queen and king of Ethiopia, and Perseus, the Gorgon Slayer after whom she is named. It is said that a warrior woman of advanced age brought so much chaos to the people of Lake Tritonis that Perseus himself arrived to take her life. And some wise people say that was Gorgophony enjoying her last act of rebellion. It has long been tradition that women should marry but once, as virgins. If their husbands died before them, they were to live out their lives as widows. Gorofoni defied this tradition to become the greatest grandmother of Elas.
Gorgophony's first husband was Pirieres, king of Messene and Sparta. Their sons grew up to be bold princes and kings of Sparta themselves. But Gorgophony had a second husband, King Oivalos of Sparta, who would bring her even greater children and grandchildren. Helen of Troy, Castor and Polydevkis, Kitamistra, and many more were her descendants. This helmet seems common. But it's been carefully hidden. I should get it back to that woman. That burning island and trapped tomb, you could say they were nearly a challenge. Even for you? You exaggerate, Eagle Bearer. But did you find the helmet? Of course I did. But how could you have known about such a terrible place? And who are you to send me there? Who do you think I am, Alexios? Some say I show great wisdom. Others say I am wisdom herself. Tell me. Who do you think I am? You sent me to a graveyard, where I met a desperate man who said Athena herself had sent me to kill him. But I suppose that could mean he only thought you were Athena. It's unwise to give too much credit to the rantings of a madman. Then you sent me to a village threatened by lions, with a strange wild man at the center of it all. Was that a divine test of wisdom, or just a coincidence? You sent yourself to the village. I only provided the opportunity. Finally, that strange hermit with the key. He was even under a statue of Athena's icon, the Owl. Did you set that all up as a joke, or is there truth in his beliefs? So many thoughts in that head of yours. It's nearly too much to contemplate. Make your decision, Alexios. It seems you want me to believe your Athena. Mysterious riddles, a helmet of all things to find. It's clever, but obvious. If this is the case, it is I who should congratulate you on your cleverness. Here, show me the helmet. I hope this was worth it. You aren't very principled, are you? One who stands for nothing falls for everything. I've seen all I need to. Here you go. Thank you. I hope you've gained some wisdom from this journey. Yes, I've learned that profit can come from the strangest sources. Ugh! 
Congratulations, Mystios. You've lived up to what my own entire saw in you. You're destined for greatness. Thank you. I'm done, Mystios. I'm living. A life outside the arena gates is no longer for me. I need to move on. Where will you go from here? What will you do? I need to live life the best way I know how. Will you see your daughter? My little Anea? Yes. I think I'll see her. I hope we meet again, Skura. Why do you want to leave the arena now? It's because of you, Mystios. I finally watched you in the arena. 
How long has it been since you've watched the fight? A long time. But I'm glad I went back in. You've stirred feelings in me I thought to be long dead. I understand, friend. Friend? Not old man? Not old man. Friend. Oh, before I leave, I've set up one last fight for you. The best arena fighter the Greek world has to offer. It won't be easy. But then again, nothing in the arena ever is. Are you interested? Gross. You want to fight someone in the arena? I'll face this mystery opponent in the arena. Skura said even the gods will cheer for this one. Skura! Look at this, Mystios. Feel it. Everything I've been collapses down into this moment. The war, my time in the arena, my daughter Anea, and you. You, Mystios! You need to rethink this! You don't know what you're doing! I know exactly what I'm doing. You're going to have to fight me, Mystios. I won't hesitate killing you if you let me. Fine, old man. I'll send you into the next life. By all means. The good... Not bad for an old man. Not bad at all. I thought so, too. What about Anea? Your daughter? Anea's gone. She's been dead for nine years. So when you said you'd see her again? I was scared that when I finally saw her again, she'd see what I'd become. A useless old man. You showed me there was still a way I could go to her proudly. As hero of the arena. Do you think she'll be proud? She'd be proud. 
I would be. I'll tell her of a new hero of the arena. A warrior of true honor. Thank you, friend. Peaceful, isn't it? It's what we all hope to earn one day. Peace and respect. How do we truly earn those? Peace and respect. Once we're gone, our deeds must speak for themselves. They've defined us and our legacy. It's how we're remembered that matters most. How will you remember, Skura? I'll remember him as he truly was. A hero of the arena. And a friend. The crowds never rest, Mistyus. Would you like to go back to the arena with me? Let's go.